Welcome to Creation Creator Chronicles, Episode 1. This is Mike here, and this is the first episode in this new series, Creation Creator Chronicles. My intention for this series is primarily for a to teach myself and possibly others about learning to learning to create fully, learning to have faith in our creativity, learning to embrace our divine heritage as creators and have faith in our creations. All in the context of an expanding spiritual perspective and embodying our higher self. So with that in mind, the topic for this episode is You Are a Creator, and We Are Going Home. This is the baseline for what what my project is about, Creation Creator Chronicles. Because whenever you identify yourself as a creator, you are identifying yourself as a free and sovereign being. Everyone is a creator because that is what we do. It's what we are. We give meaning to things around us. We choose what they mean in our own mind. And we create things. We create experiences. We choose to do things. We choose to believe things about ourselves. And we have the infinite power to believe anything we want to believe at all. And in our modern world, there really isn't a bigger demonstration of that than the state of the world. Whenever you see so much insanity of people and such crazy suffering and pain, that's that was our responsibility as creators to use it, use that much power responsibly. And it, what what happened in the world was we we used our creative power to basically lock our identity into our bodies and only our physical appearance and. We're infinitely powerful, sovereign creators in the image of our creator. And so we had the power to do that. And by doing that, we kind of created this mess where we perpetuate our own suffering because we created the way we see it. And it's our responsibility to heal it. That's why ships don't land. That's why... ET, star star civilizations don't interfere with Earth politics because it's our responsibility as creators to heal that and bring the cycle of consciousness full circle. And so the essence of this episode is you are a creator. Whenever you are a creator you know that you are a creator. You're always creating. Because every moment is brand new. And whenever we identify with our higher self, we have the power to not only just understand that intellectually, but to actually feel it and to live it. Because when we are aligned with our creative heritage, we have the power to expand what we believe about ourselves, and completely transform all the negative that we experience from the world. And we do that by tapping into our creator power. And there's an interesting distinction between being a creator and being the creator. Some people, when they realize this, they'll kind of go off the deep end about being the creator and it can we are the creator 
but we're created in the image of our creator. So we cannot create our creator, which is very wordy and confusing to say, but we don't have the power to change our creator. And this is kind of the trouble humanity's in, where we attempted to attack our creator. We lost faith in our creator and chose to believe that divinity abandoned us and we fell from grace and we were sovereign creators and we had the power to do that and divinity respected that but we don't have the power to change or attack our creator and basically the, when I think of this I see it as it's like a whole timeline the fall of the fall of consciousness is a timeline that broke off from unity and div the divine and in heaven when ultimately it's not real. But relative to us, the creators that chose it, it does seem real because that's how powerful we are. We can choose to experience things that aren't real <laughs> for better or worse. And they don't last forever, obviously. The whole paradigm's changing now. The fall is rising back into unity consciousness. But as a creator, we, we, we have this really clear um, distinction and respect that we honor our creator as whole, complete, perfect, as the light of the universe that created and maintains all things. But we are a creator too. And by accepting that and being responsible, we honor and glorify our creator. And we do that by honoring the divinity that dwells within us. Being a creator, loving, creation and love are the same thing. And so the second part of the topic for this, your creator and we are going home, which is essentially what I was just saying. Humanity as a whole, as a collective consciousness, is going home. As a whole, we created this world where divinity is in question and where there's so much pain and suffering and people are just incessantly seeking something in the future or something out there to be happy. And it's just so sad when no one finds it and people feel like there's no meaning to life. The meaning to life is already here. We just have to realize how powerful we are, that we created a veil that keeps us from seeing that we are the meaning of life already created in the image of God. We are creators that create each moment. And we have the power to know that we are one with the creator, that we are infinitely powerful, free, and infinitely abundant beings. So as a whole, we are returning home, individually and collectively, each of us individually experiences a reality where we begin to connect to our higher selves and yet we still exist in a 3D um, 3D timeline feeling fear, fearful creations miscreations and we have to learn to be in both worlds there for me, a large part of the journey is learning to completely respect your own experience of divinity. Some people have, have visions and powerful experiences. Others don't have that. Others just have gut feelings. And it's all the uniqueness of our own experience. And so individually, we remember that we're a creator. And we wake up to that. And we realize that we are here to 
just powerfully recreate the link to our own creator, our higher self. And in doing so, we begin to transmute the whole 3D timeline for all the others who are still remembering that the whole purpose of this time in history is to reconnect to your higher self and begin to completely transform the world from the inside out. And it's all done with self-love and with honoring all that you feel as perfect and real and not shutting out anything because the things you feel from the world that you push away are the things that we came here to honor and respect and love and to sub submission so it can go home to the light through us and that we can be here for everyone who doesn't know how to cultivate a loving, compassionate relationship with the dark, f fearful energies in this world. And so we are creators and we are going home. We are one with divinity and we are going home. We are creators and we are already home. We're recreating our link to that. And it's not some distant earth plane that's going to appear or we're not going somewhere. It's all already here, superimposed and overlaid upon the 3D earth. And as creators, we have the power to call forth that 5D earth plane that's already here in a quantum probability, just awaiting recognition. It's, it's just waiting to be commanded forth. The heaven that's already here can't show itself until all of us accept that we are holy creations of the Most High, and our purpose here is to command it forth for all in this world. We are creators, and we are going home. We are creators, and we are going home. So this has been Creation Creator Chronicles Episode 1. This is my creative endeavor. This is my contribution to the uplifting of humanity. This is my exploration of how I connect to my higher self be this channeling, speaking, whatever. I'm doing this my own way, and praise God, because I'm the only me in existence. <laughs> so until next episode, I wish you all the highest blessings of love, joy, peace, and abundance flowing forever from the heart of the Holy Creator, I am that I am in all life. And so it is. Amen. <laughs>